Hello, this is Global Business with me, Matthew Amrelli Waller. Airbus plays it safe after cracks are found on some A380 wings, ordering the oldest planes for mandatory maintenance. And the sky's not the limit for Virgin Galactic, as the space tourism company plans to go public and raise $800 million. Hello and welcome to Global Business and we start with plane maker Airbus after small cracks were found on the wings of some A380s. The 25 oldest models of the plane, which first went into service in 2007, will now all be checked. The company says the airworthiness of the planes aren't affected. Well, earlier this year, Airbus said it would stop making the A380 after failing to sell enough of the super jumbos. Let's speak to Sally Gethin, who's from an aviation analyst from Gethin's in-flight news. Welcome here to the programme. I mean, when you hear that phrase, cracks in the wings, it sounds very worrying. It does sound very worrying. And let's face it, wings are a critical component of the infrastructure. And the A380 has the largest wingspan at 80 metres in um, length. So they are the reason that that aircraft has managed to sustain its momentum. But as you said, it's um, drawn down recently. Now, Boeing had a similar issue with cracks recently, didn't they? Tell us about those and how, how normal is something like this on a jet? It's not normal at all. And uh, anything affecting the wing is a cause for concern. So obviously one would expect the uh, airframers, that is Airbus and Boeing, to sort of minimise the um, concern around that. But in the background, they're busily addressing the issues. Now, they're totally separate issues. So Boeing has an issue with wing slats. Um, they're forward of the trailing edge of the wing and they're critical for lift during takeoff and landing. They weren't fitting correctly into the tracks. And there's been... Uh, there's, there's a lot of work going on in terms of looking at that. That's the B737NGs prior to um, the MAX. Uh, the MAX will have to be looked at as well. All B737 types um, have to be checked, and that's ongoing. With the A380, it's a different uh, set of uh, wing issues, and it goes back to the very earliest aircraft in the early days of the A380 production, around about 10 years ago. And this maintenance they're talking about for the oldest aircraft, how long is that all going to take? How much of a disruption for them? Well, I mean, it's not a massively disruptive exercise, and they're hoping to carry out those inspections during normal heavy maintenance checks, which are routine amongst airlines. So they're not saying they're going to take any of those aircraft out of service. Uh, but, yeah, they, do, they, they have to keep inspecting them then every 36 months. So all those old aircraft will never be completely in the clear from now on. They'll co constantly have to be checked. And, um, yeah, so that will be an issue going forward. Of course, I mean, Boeing, we have uh, for months now been dominated by the headlines around the 737 MAX. Uh, do you think uh, when you see the response today from Airbus in terms of the openness and uh, is that all part of the same thing, a sort of concern by the plane makers, by the regulators to be much more transparent, do you think? Uh, on the one hand, yes. I feel that their hand has been forced somewhat in terms of the technical safety issues to be more transparent. I don't see them being very, you know, they fulfil their obligations, but they're not obviously going out of their way to publicise these issues. I think we've seen a trend with Boeing, though, being a bit more um, transparent, a bit more assertive with those updates. For example, we just mentioned the wing slats and anything else that touches the passenger experience. Sally Gethin, thanks very Thank much you. for coming in and giving us those thoughts. Thanks so much.